Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17 to December 23rd 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards once again I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Aquarius the star sign therefore it's going to resonate in a different level for every single one of you so uh, for that purpose in this video I will um, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end it will fall to you to make the most of sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want your personal situation to be given uh, to be read just like I'm reading for the examples in this video with a card drawn specifically for your situation well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and uh, if you go for that option the for the duration of December the prices for the 20 and the 30 minute personal reading with me are with reduced costs so if you want a bunch of your questions answered and to save some money while doing so these are the ways you go so what we do have here, uh, Aquarius, is it does look like a, a quite of a, a busy week that you are going to have. I mean, look at that. We do have the Chariot card. We do have the Tower card. Six of Swords. Six of uh, Wands, excuse me, etc., etc. So uh, the very generic meaning here with the Chariot card is that uh, if you take under consideration it's... Uh, keyword triumph it does look like that you are to make a, a significant progress moving on forward that is further supported here by the six of wands even though the synergy it is not ideal these cards here are, are only pointing you know that uh, you have just reached a, a certain um, checkpoint into your development and from there you are to make even further steps in order to increase either your monetary success or stability into your relationship or just to dive into a new relationship because the chariot card when it comes to relationships it does represent the opportunity one to make clean break with the past and jump into a, a new one knowing that the new one will take some efforts but in the same time could be something very very positive and uh, well emotionally supported but let's dive deeper into the cards and into their wow that is definitely for something that you are gonna love quite so much so just to make a note here um I don't know what it is going on in the skies, but you Aquariuses are the first cooperative reading in this, um, in, in throughout all the readings that I have done this week for the star signs. Now this is a synergy I would like to see. Now what we do have here, guys, it is a. Uh, amazing enterprise coming out of the blue giving you the opportunity to really put behind your back poignant experiences from the past despondent situations and never turn your glance on, on them again because what we do have here it is the circumstances required for you to make problems you did had yesterday uh, and I said had that is very important completely irrelevant so this is a, a new charge of yours now this is a, a new jump in toward the future a, a jump toward triumph and toward success as well now what these cards here that could be very well as I said you know that could be a, your new relationship because we do have the ace of cups everybody says that this is the card of love but i want to make a different point here yes it is love but this is the love for life in general not the romantic love it could be a romantic love all right but it is the love for life in general or in other words it does point to the enterprise you will so much love that that will be the only thing that really matters for the duration of the week and maybe moving on forth. 
and I'm saying that because the chariot card here it does incorporate the iron will one have to push through and to find themselves happy at the very end. So all in all, on a, on a conclusion here with these couple of cards, something is going to happen in the very beginning of your week, Aquarius is, which is going to make, uh, for example, the, uh, the wrangles into your relationship, the competition into your career, for example, or the rivalry into one social circle, completely irrelevant because now you have something different to look forward to a, a different fulcrum to focus on and to channel your energy toward and to develop into that direction which direction by the way there will be no obstacles in it at least for the time being because that will be a, a brand new as i said enterprise coming in your coming in your environment and fulfilling a spot in your heart that previously had been empty and when you look everything through that overflowing joy so that is going to be a very joyful event and very joyful enterprise uh, you are to transcend your daily reality now I'm gonna sneeze oh excuse me oh my god again <coughs> oh my god excuse me so Going to the second card, which is the core of the situation, Six of Wands with the Star card. I mean, look at that. Now, that is a synergy I would like to say. So, what these cards here are pointing now, the Six of uh, the Six of Wands. It is a about recognition. It is a about receiving rewards from one's labor. It is a, a also a about a kind of like a reaching a milestone and generally. Uh, finding yourself at a culmination of one's event like the peak experience further supported by the star card pointing that that culmination of event is going to end uh, is going to put an end to a phase of turmoil further supported by this out of the blue event or circumstances happening which now are giving you a, a different thing to look forward to making your current problems completely completely irrelevant so these cards here are pointing that based on your previous efforts in order to improve your circumstances finally not someone or I but because we do have the star card the universe itself recognized that you do deserve a, a better future and a better future is given to you but you need to have the iron will and determination and as well the readiness to break clean with the past in order to maximize the benefits from that new bright future that new bright future is granted to you via the star card in synergy with the six <clears throat> with the six of wands so you need to know however from these couple of cards that you have to face the world open as well which means that you have to liberate yourself from previous as i say as i said poignant experiences you should not bring the memories of for example that someone betrayed you you know or that someone mistreated you or that you have lost a a certain bet or you did a mistake back in the past you should not bring those uh bad thoughts and having a, a negative attitude towards your bright future because what we are seeing here it is a, a quite of a bright future for and not to mention that these cards as well could speak that uh, you are to receive a, a promotion at work if we're talking about career the promotion at work is going to be the prerequisite and you are to find that this is going to come out of nowhere all right and that will be the thing that you will start looking forward to and it will require from you to make a clean break um, cut with the past position so you can fully devote into the new one and that is by the way further supported here with the tower card and with it we do have the two of pentacles so what happens here it is that the tower card it, it does point that what you are to involve yourself in is going to transform you in a very big way so after you start that process of moving towards your new uh, 
new enterprise here that came out of the blue all right and it is offering to you a, a tremendous bright future like unfolding love like support from others and etc etc you will have to um, as well sh reshape yourself if i may express myself that way and because we do have the two of pentacles you will not have much time to do it so that will be the predicament and that will be the issue for you here Aquarius so let me explain you the tower card the tower card happens when uh, usually when someone is facing a completely unknown phase of their lives and that is what I have explained until this very moment here you know out of the out of the blue event that you will have to make clean break clean break with the past and etc etc so uh, when someone face a, a brand new phase of their life usually that phase comes through unpleasant circumstances by uh, destroying a previous phase let's say that's um, to give you an example here let's say that you had been in a relationship that relationship broke up but what this broke uh what the separation gave you it is much more wor uh, room to work with so you can transform uh, your relationship life into something much better look at it from that way you know that you have built up your tower which tower is something that everything that you have worked for so tight so tight and so um how can i place it and uh, so consistently that there is no more room for you to build up anymore all right and uh, um, or so strictly that there is no more room for you to build on top of it any longer so what what is the next course of action is to bring down the tower and to rebuild it this time knowing that if you do take a, a different approach or if you do uh, kind of like have the uh, the vision how to expand it you are to rebuild it in a much greater extent so with that card here you know this gives you the opportunity to to kind of like pick up the broken pieces from what uh, from either one poignant experience from your relationship life or from your from your career career life and this time around to make the right thing through and to expand upon those broken pieces if that makes sense the only problem here with the two of pentacles as i said is that you will not have much time for experimenting the more you allow yourself to experiment the more negative the tower is going to uh, implement or the more uh, unpleasant those circumstances upon the transformation needs to happen are going to be and you need to know that whether you like it or not that transformation needs to take place in order for you to make that clean break with the past so you can take advantage and to fully devote into the new enterprises which will overflow your your heart with joy which from another hand is going to allow you to start anew here because that as well points to kind of a new beginning like the star card but this is a, a new beginning into already established field so new beginning into your relationship life which could very well mean a reconciliation all right restarting a uh, an old relationship by making clean break with the past with the previous state of that relationship all right it's kind of like starting it anew disregarding what happened in the past and etc etc or you can have it a, a brand new and a, a brand new beginning now that is the good thing with the star card that it does gives you options available unlike the full card for example which generally means new beginning you know and it is something brand new i mean you can't make a reconciliation with the fool it is just new and that's it so here um all these cards are kind of pointing that the turmoil for you aquarius is, is now over and you can stand back on your feet from the ground kind of like wipe the dust out from your shoulders and with a big smile and determination iron wheel as well you know charge toward a and new brighter sides of your life which could be again new relationship or new career 
project that you are craving for and etc etc the last card that we do have this is going to be the prince or the knights of cups accompanied with the devil card oh my god so what these uh, this is a beautiful synergy that we do have with this reading so what these cards are pointing here is, is that you have to follow the needs of your soul you have to follow the needs of your emotional state if you like something start doing it and start developing it as a matter of fact i kind of like something eluded me throughout the reading before i saw the devil card and this is exactly what these cards are all about and now, now now i get it you know i mean it is all about your dream and it is all about your hope and your hope is about to start getting real all right it will take time to develop because it's not going to happen over a night, it's not going to happen over a week. As a matter of fact, that week is going to be all about the, the foundations and about the transformation you need to go through in order to adjust yourself towards your goal and towards your dream. Either this is going to be a person or a project like I mentioned. But these cards here are pointing that everything that should matter here are your dreams that you hold in front of yourself and that you do follow those dreams and you do not allow anybody to get on your way for one or another reason the devil card here supporting the knights of pentacles the, the the knight of cups excuse me does point that you will have the power to alter your outcomes and to make a, a very accurate decisions and choices that will serve you the greater purpose again it will serve you the greater purpose the devil card it is that kind of an energy it is that kind of a power which kind of provokes uh, which is provoked from the primal instincts now one can choose to use it constructively to channel it toward their constructive goal or one can choose to use it destructively and to basically get a revenge upon someone you know because that could be something you do yearn to to get your revenge upon someone and you can definitely do so with the circumstances appearing in in this week you can definitely achieve that thing but you need to know with this particular combination as a guidance what they say is that you will have to suffer the consequences of it as well so if you do good things good consequences are to follow you if you do bad things bad consequences are to follow you as well the knights of cups here with the devil card are a very material combination as well which points that nothing is going to happen by a chance apart from the initial momentum initial push these circumstances here all right which are going to present you with the option available or with the option to move toward a, a new goal of yours or a new enterprise and from there nothing else is to happen by a chance but you actually have to work for it and throughout that work it is very likely for yourself to kind of develop or to uncover a, a skill that you did not use until this very moment and yet you find yourself very skillful into that specific field and who knows you may traverse it into business to make additional money from it or to you can use it to help people with it or just you can use it for your personal amusement that will be entirely up to your decision so that was the tarot reading now let me shuffle the lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a event that you should that you aquarius should either um, look forward to or if you don't like it you may try to avoid it so the first card that we do have this is going to be the snake and the snake stands for uh, betrayal it does stands for uh, for rivalry that stands for a uh, traitor as well you know and an enemy but also it may stand for clever the next one this is going to be the clouds and the cloud stands for delusion uh, diverse diversion of one's way and fogginess and etc etc and the last one this is going to be the whip and the broom and the whip and the broom stands for rangos it stands for competition it's stands for arguments and etc uh, etc et so what we do have here it is a completely different subject of the tarot reading it will be something that probably you will not pay much attention of so basically this is a, a futile arguments and wrangles with a person that generally does not care about how the situation is to unfold and they do have their own personal agenda so that person for unknown reason here it is raising those 
arguments and those questions, those wrangles with you with seemingly no benefits for everybody. Well, you need to know that if you do take participation into those wrangles, they will deviate you from that wonderful part you do have here where you are to start making your dream come true, all right? And uh, they will just eat of your time. And no matter how you end up at the end, either winning or not, it will, there these wrangles and these arguments will not have anything um, as a benefit for you. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17th to December 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Aquarius star sign. Therefore, it may resonate with every single one of you in a different level and in a different way. Now, if you want your personal situation to be analyzed, just like the examples I gave here into this video with a... Uh, a different card draws, you know, personal card draws. Uh, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.